What's up guys? This is Paul from Marco Polo Travel and I just got back from spending three weeks in El Salvador. You did what? Isn't that dangerous? These are some of the questions I've been getting and honestly, they're understandable. El Salvador, just as recent as 2015, was known as the murder capital of the world, specifically San Salvador, the capital. Now, the question when someone goes to travel somewhere, the first thing that comes to mind is, is the place safe to visit? When I was doing my research on El Salvador, I read so many horror stories, but also a lot of positives when I was doing my research and trying to understand, is El Salvador worth visiting? So, after spending three weeks there and going through basically the entire country, I now have a firm grasp and understanding if El Salvador is safe and worth it for you to visit. I'm Paul from Marco Polo Travel. Please stay tuned as I go through the reasons in which I came to a decision on whether you should travel to El Salvador or not. I'm gonna start with the positives because there's a few on the list that I think are really worth pointing out. The first being cost. It is dirt cheap to travel in El Salvador. I've been to 10 countries in Latin America now and El Salvador ranks up there as one of the cheapest. Food, living cost, activities, souvenirs, whatever you want. El Salvador definitely ranks up there in terms of cost saving places I've ever been to. That would also include food. Now, the question is, you think, ah, is the food any good? Is it worth actually trying? Have you ever had a pupusa? No? You should go try one right now. El Salvador actually has the third highest Hispanic population in the US, which means in your local city, you may be able to find a Salvadoreño restaurant. And if so, you need to go try pupusas right now. A doughy, gooey, flour with bean cheese tortilla mixed with meat. Oh, it is fantastic. And I, my mouth is salivating just thinking about it, but the food itself is very cheap. You can eat decently well for a couple dollars in a restaurant. The next positive for me was the incredible public transportation system. Now, a lot of people get sketched out by public transportation in Latin America. However, I'm here to tell you that I have gone on the El Salvadorian bus system and Compared to 10 other countries I've been to in Latin America, it is pretty impressive. Air conditioned buses, not necessarily the chicken buses that you see in Guatemala or Nicaragua as much. There's definitely some in El Salvador, but it's more the larger VW van type buses that have AC and again, with the cost, to go two hours away from one town to another, somewhere like San Salvador to Santa Ana, a two hour ride costs you two US dollars. They also use the American currency there, which is quite nice for Americans, but regardless, $2 for a two hour journey is absurd and incredibly amazing when you're trying to you know, pinch your pennies. And last but not least, you have incredible attractions all throughout El Salvador. You have volcanoes and national parks that you can go and climb, including this one right here, which is a lime green lake on top of a volcano that you can hike to. Talk about incredibly unique. And add to the fact you have a fantastic coastline with some of the best surf that you can find in all of Latin America. And you have some really good nature that you can go explore in El Salvador. Now, to the obvious points of why you wouldn't go to El Salvador. And the first for me was the fact that you can't really go out at night. You really have to do all of your sightseeing and attractions during the day. Sure, to get to restaurants or bars, you could technically take taxis, and then, you know, right when you get out, hop in one again. But for me, that really takes away a lot from the experience. A lot of traveling and getting to know certain places for me is getting to walk around, check out the areas, and kind of get lost, because sometimes you just happen to come across new 
restaurants, bars you didn't know about beforehand. You hear some music in the distance. What is that coming from the speaker over there? I need to be there. And you just kind of gravitate towards it. So that definitely took a little bit of the luster away from me from El Salvador. Unless, of course, you are in a place like El Tunco. El Tunco is probably the safest place you can go to in all of El Salvador. They literally only have two streets in the entire town and it's based on surf. So you get that kind of surf, very chill vibe, surf in the daytime, party at night. So that gave me the idea. Sometimes when you think about party in third world countries, you think about getting scammed, ripped off, stolen from. I had no issues. I was only there for about four days, but otherwise in El Salvador, going out at night is not recommended. As you talk about not going out at night, that leads to some of the horror stories that I heard from locals while I was there regarding safety. And a lot of it was actually cautionary tales, but mostly cautionary tales of the past and how El Salvador is working to a better future of safety and viable tourism. But it's still in the back of your head as a place that is not as safe as other places you could be traveling to in Latin America. So as I come to my conclusion on El Salvador, I think it's twofold. If you are looking for a family spot, family vacation, somewhere that you can take the family, or perhaps you're a couple that's not as adventurous and really wants somewhere that you can kind of take those safety concerns out of the question and kind of do the regular vacation that you kind of hoped and dreamed for without any real issues, don't go to El Salvador. I don't think that it is necessary for families especially. I think that it would just be um, a pain unless you're really in one of the touristy towns and at a resort, but it all depends on what kind of a vacationer or traveler you are. But that being said, when it comes to budget travelers like myself and people who rock around with backpacks, I think El Salvador is a definite place that you need to put on your list and experience because hey, it is a small enough country to travel around at, at a very cheap clip with great food, nice people, tons of nature and attraction to explore. If you're just a traveler that goes to party in certain places, I would not go to El Salvador. But if you are someone like myself who likes to get out into nature, explore the places, explore the culture, and see exactly why so many people aren't going there and you wanna get off that beaten path, El Salvador is a definite spot that I think is safe enough for you to visit as long as obviously you keep your wits about you, you don't walk around at night, especially solo, you take cabs when you need to, and don't go into large groups of people where you seem like a complete outsider that could be taken advantage of. Because a lot of times when you are traveling, unfortunately, coming from the first world, if you are European, American, Canadian, you are seen as a dollar sign at times, and people wanna take advantage of you. So, as long as you have your wits about you and you know what you're doing, in conclusion, I think El Salvador is a must, especially if you're in Latin America and love surf, love nature, love exploring, and really just getting off that beaten path. So without further ado, please leave comments, suggestions right down here. If you have ever been to El Salvador, any of the amazing destinations there, and have an opinion one way or the other, whether you think it is necessary to visit or necessary to skip, I would love to hear it, love to keep the conversation going. And please, if you enjoyed this video, give it a subscribe and a like, throw a comment down there. It really helps me as I continue to boost my profile on here. So thank you very much. Talawego.